kid, just put me down. Since we've moved in together, come give me a kiss. Woo, that was fun. Huh? Oh, what's with that girl sitting in the street? Well, it's only past 9 p.m., huh? I could hang out a little longer. Is she a delinquent? Clearly, she looks like a high school student. My name is Keiichi Sato. I'm 24 years old, and I'm just your average office worker. I had to do overtime today, and I was going home late. I was passing through the downtown on my way home, and I ran into this strange girl. Thank you! Well, now that I've secured dinner for tonight, let's go home. Oh? Damn. Nagisa and Kanae also went home, huh? How boring. She's still here. I'm a little worried now. Well, I can't help it. Hey, you! Don't you need to go home? What, old man? Get lost. Old man? How rude! I'm only still 24! I don't care. That's not what I mean. You're a high school student. You should go home. It's none of your business. If a high school girl was all alone in a place like this, it's only normal to be worried. You're a strange old man. My mom works on night shifts, so there's no reason for me to go home. That's not the point. Besides, if a miner is wandering around at this hour, you could get caught. I don't care. You should care. Here, stand up. Where do you live? No! Hey! What are you... Uh. Well, uh, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Nope. My stomach. It hurts. He's growling and I'm hungry, so I've got no energy. Huh? When I heard her story, I was just speechless. This girl had been playing around from the evening and had not eaten since lunch. I'm starving. What are you talking about? There's a convenience store right over there. Hmm. I don't really like the food from the convenience store. And then hurry up and go home and eat at home. I don't really like the food from home either. What is it with you? But I'm super hungry. What should I do? Is she a picky eater or something? Ugh. I feel like I'm about to collapse at any time since I'm too hungry. <laughs> Fine. Whoa? Come with me. I'll only just feed you. What? I'm not a kid. Just put me down. But if you're lying on the ground over there, you might get caught. Ugh. Besides, I can't just overlook a kid who can't move because she's hungry. Old man. She's gone quiet now. But you're light. It's because you don't eat properly, huh? Shut up. Anyways, you're warm. Really? <sighs> it feels good. Whoa! If she leans on me like that, I can feel them! Being shaken up like that, I had brought the girl named Yui Nakajima back to my house. Here, it's something simple, but eat up. Whoa! It smells really good! It's omelet rice! You can tell by looking at it, can't you? I've never had anything that looks this good before. Well, I'll take your word for it and eat it. Yui took a bite and her eyes widened. Y yummy! This is super yummy! Oh, oh, really? It's so delicious. I've never eaten such delicious food before. Really? Well, it's my pleasure. Your mom doesn't cook? She does, but... Not as good as this. Maybe she's not a good cook. Thank you for the amazing meal! I'm glad you enjoyed it. This is such a good home-cooked meal. How did you make it? Yui seemed to want to ask a lot of questions, but I couldn't have a high school girl in my house at this hour. Well then, go home now. I'll take you home. Ugh. You're trying to get rid of me, huh? I can go home on my own. Really? Then be careful. Your meal was really delicious. Thanks. See ya. Yui left with a completely different attitude than before and left happily. 
I saw her off, but I couldn't help but notice that something wasn't feeling right with how she left that day. But the next day... Oh! Welcome home, bro! You're back home on time today, huh? Why? Well, I thought it was wrong of me to call you old man. No, that's not it! Why are you here? I couldn't forget about the meal you made for me. Hey, can I ask you to make it again for me? I appreciate the compliment, but I can't just have a high school girl come in here. Yay! Well then, I'm gonna come in. You're not listening! But Yui quickly went in, so I gave up. I decided to make it, thinking that she would be satisfied and go home once she ate it. Ooh, I see. So that's how you cook the eggs. Huh, it's just an omelet. No, it's amazing. My mom and I can only make scrambled eggs. It's just mixing them together. I guess the food situation at her home is not so good after all. This time, we had omelets, rice balls, and stir-fried vegetables. It was just a normal menu, but Yui was impressed by how good it was. <sighs> Thanks for the amazing meal. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Here, bro, to thank you for the meal. You can call me Keishi. And what's this? It's my favorite tea. If you drink this after your meal, you can definitely relax. Oh, I see. Nice, thanks. No problem. Well then, I'll get going soon. Oh, um, if you'd like, give this to your mom as a gift. What? You sure about that? Your mom's not good at cooking, right? If it's okay with what I can cook, then. Thank you. Mom will be really happy. Yui left happily. As I watched her back, I felt more peaceful than yesterday. But, as expected, it didn't end there. And the next day was even more outrageous. I want to learn how to cook from you, Keiji. Yui came barging in, and as soon as she entered, she asked for my help in a serious tone. Huh? From me? Yeah, my mom and I ate what you cooked for us yesterday, and it was just so delicious. Oh, my pleasure. So, I thought, why don't I learn to cook and make it? I'd be happy to do that, but... So, let me live with you here. What? Please, I'm pretty good at house chores except for cooking. I can clean and do the laundry. No, no, hold on. Your mom would never allow you staying in a strange man's house. Oh, what? You don't know? My mom works in the same company as you, Keiji. What? Oh! Could she be that office cleaner, Nakajima-san? Nakajima-san is a calm and gentle middle-aged woman. I often had a chance to talk with her. I had no idea that she was Yui's mom. As I went along with Yui's idea, I ended up meeting Nakajima-san face to face. If it's you, Sato-san, then it should be fine. Really? <laughs> I'm so clumsy and made my daughter suffer. And I was really hoping that she would learn to enjoy eating someday. I would really appreciate it. In fact, she even asked me as a favor. So that's how we began to live together. A few days later, Yui-chan, Yui moved into my house. <sighs> I'm kind of tired from being at the office. I'm home. Oh, welcome home. <laughs> what? It doesn't suit me? Th that's not what I mean! Where'd you get that apron? Mom bought it for me, because we're living together and I'm doing training for cooking. How am I supposed to interpret that? Anyways, now that you're back home, give me a I'm home kiss. Why? Because we're living together. We're not! Mmm. How can you let a girl like me live with you and say that we're not living together? I'm only letting you live with me to help you learn to cook and to improve your nutritional status! How strict! Well then, just give me a kiss on the cheek. Were you even listening? Come on, hurry! Ugh. Here, this should be fine. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> I feel like I'm exhausted now. 
Don't be rude. Well, you can kiss on the lips next time. There won't be a next time! You have to at least be an adult! Oh, so if I become an adult, then it's fine, huh? Uh, oh, stop that! Come on, we're cooking a meal, right? So we cooked dinner together, but of course it was her first time cooking. It was all crumbly. Uh, I'll cook better from now on. Yeah, you can do it. As Yui declared, she tried cooking every day and got better and better at it. She learned so well that I was surprised. But she must have had the talent. Alright, this should be a good reference book. It would be uncool for me to just do my job while Yui practiced seriously. Being inspired by Yui, I started studying for qualifications to step up in my career. KG, let's take a break. Sure. It's already been an hour, huh? It's not good to work too hard. Here, have some lake snack. Oh, a sandwich. It looks yummy. <laughs> I made it good, right? Here, have some warm tea too. The tea, huh? This is really tasty. Yeah, because it's my favorite one. Thanks. Well then, let's take a break together. Yeah, I'll take off the apron, so wait. Mm. What's wrong? Hmm, it's getting tight on me recently. Oh, it's true. It does look like they've grown. Ah! KG, you were just looking at them, weren't you? Uh, no, 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 I'm not! Huh? I didn't say anything about what you were looking at, you know? Uh. <laughs> KG, you're really too honest sometimes. Uh. But, if I've grown like that, then you'll make me your wife, right? Why does it become like that? Come on, let's eat! Ugh, you're always changing the subject like that. But Yui has really become curvy. Previously she was skinny, but now it was looking like she was becoming healthier. Seeing her like that, it made me somewhat happy. Toward the end of autumn, when I had gotten used to living with Yui, Yui began to say something with an unusually serious look on her face. Hey, um, about what I do after graduation. Oh yeah, you're a senior, huh? I want to go to a culinary school. I want to make people smile with delicious food too. That sounds great! Then do your best! I was going to do my best to support Yui's goals, so we both put even more effort into our studies and cooking practices, but... The tuition fee is pretty expensive. I had no idea. It's not like I can't pay for it, but... It is a vocational college. When we talked to her mom about it, she looked troubled. Yui seemed to sense that it was getting awkward, and Yui's face suddenly scrunched up. Alright, fine! Yui! H hey Then, Yui ran out of the house. I followed her in a hurry. Damn it, it's nighttime already. I hope she's not going anywhere shady. If she's not careful, she might get caught. No! Oh, is she maybe over there? I headed over the place where we first met. And Yui was really squatting down in that place. Yui. KG? Let's go home. Let's talk to your mom about it more once you calm down. Whoa! KG! Yui. I've never wanted to study so much before, and I can't believe it won't happen. Yui was trembling and was on the verge of tears. I could feel it in my chest that she was urging for help and that she was being serious. All right, I'll do something about it. R really? Yeah, so let's just go home now to our house. Can you give me a piggyback ride and take me home? I don't have a choice, huh? Here, come on. <laughs> the way home after carrying Yui was calm. We talked about things other than what we do for our future career paths. But... Th they are getting big for sure. I was getting a little embarrassed. Oh, I'm feeling some naughty vibes from you. 
N no way! Of course not! It's okay if it's you, KG. Ease. Yui, who pushes her body against mine with relief, and I slowly headed home. Meanwhile, my mind was made up. The next day, I visited Nakajima-san again. Yui, who was next to me, was being anxious, but I bowed my head to Nakajima-san without any hesitation. Please, allow Yui for her to go to a culinary school! I'll assist you with her tuition fee! Oh, wh why are you Sato-san? It's for Yui's future! If she studies, she'll be able to have a job! KT! But I can't really let you... I wouldn't mind it if you pay me back whenever you can! I just want to support Yui's dream too! Mom! Please! You too, Yui. I'll stop being a delinquent too! I'll seriously do my best on my studies! So... Alright. You must be very determined. Her mother finally approved Yui of her going into culinary school. As promised, Yui stopped being a delinquent. She also dyed her hair black. She studied really hard, and then months flew by. Hey, G, I got accepted! You did it! Congratulations! I'll do my very best from spring! Thanks so much, KG! You were the one who made it work, Yui! Besides, I'm also... Hmm? You've inspired me to do better, Yui! And I've been recognized for the certificate I took. I'm also going to be promoted in the spring! What? That's amazing! Yui and I both progressed onto our own new paths. We vowed to do our best once again with each other. And, y you know... Yep, we'll have a feast today. That's not what I'm trying to say. Uh, um, I will do my best to study hard. So, please make me not just your roommate, but your wife. Uh, Yui confessed to me in a serious tone, and I didn't hesitate to answer her. Thank you. I was also attracted to you working so hard like that, Yui. Really? How could I lie about that? So, since you're graduating high school too, Yui, let's get married. KT, you better make me happy. And in the spring, Yui and I held a wedding ceremony. We moved into a new, bigger house, and our new life was full of hope. I'm home! Welcome back home! Whoa! Don't hug me like that! It's fine, because I'm your real wife. I have no choice, huh? Well, you know, you can give me the I'm home kiss now, right? Jeez, you already know the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> KG, I love you. Yui has become the most important person in my life. A life filled with delicious meals will fill our stomachs and our hearts. Thanks for watching until the end. <laughs>